No, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. And even Snoop Dogg, who said he was going to move to Africa if, uh, if Trump won, chose South Africa. Of course he did. <laughs> it's, it's the country with the white people in it. <laughs> Fucking frauds. These people are odious fucks. Um, All right, pumpkin, let's go. <laughs> Up you get. Now stand up and speak loudly. I'll try to get you a microphone. Where are you, Angel? Stand up. There you go, sweetheart. Yeah. Now, if you... I, I'm going to repeat what you say, so go ahead. Especially in the bedroom. Thank you. You claim to be this defender of go. black people, right? Yes. You yes. claim to abhor racism in all yes. its forms. Your whole talk, right, this whole discussion is about how liberals are the real racists, right? Isn't this true? Do you have however, a question? However, yes, what I want to know is how do you... Shh, how let, do him, you let him how speak. Do you he can embarrass to, himself without your help. How do you claim to be the anti-racist the one who's calling out all the races. Yes, get to the question, when, sweetheart. Just be patient. You'll, I'll, I'll get there. Okay. When you, when you're the one who I incited like your scolded. followers on Twitter to attack Leslie Jones, the star of Ghostbusters. Oh. Excuse me. Poor Leslie. With, with Poor a storm Leslie. of racist tweets. Okay, that I think I understand. Her to a gorilla. I think I understand Didn't the broad, broad thrust of your question. My turn. Um, how can you how can you justify all this defense of uh, black America and claim to be the savior of black folks when there is not a single I'm not black sure person I quite said that. in this audience? You're in the largest. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. You brought one. You found one black person in the in a city. That's the largest has the largest black population in the state to come in to come to your talk. So why aren't there more black people here if you're such a defender of Black America? All right, we have and two. Explain we have, why you were banned from Twitter. We, what have, was, we have two questions you in there. We're you going were to address both of them for you. Thank you very much for your question. Thank you for listening to him relatively respectfully. Um, why don't you sit down, Poppet, and I'm happy to address both things. Um, stop it. Stop it. Alluding to me as some kind of viper about to strike. I'm going to be lovely. I'm going to be very nice. First of all, stop believing what you read in the press. What I did... Should, uh, you should have picked this up by now from whatever terrible blog you read, whether it's Vox or Mike or BuzzFeed or, or God, not Gawker anymore, thanks God, thank God. Uh, sorry about that. Um, you should have picked up by now, the media doesn't always get everything right. For instance, the last election. And indeed, in this case, they, they got lots of other things. Now, you see, I'm, ans I'm answering your question, but you need to listen. I wrote, um, as most of this audience will know, I wrote a, a very waspish review of the new Ghostbusters movie, which is total fucking garbage. Um, and I said so. And if, 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 if our friend down here had read the review, he might have known, for instance, that in the course of... You need to calm down and you need to let me finish. If he had taken the time to read the review, which of course he has not, he would have known that in the course of that review, actually, I mounted a defense uh, of Leslie Jones. What I said was, I found it quite disturbing that she was expected to play what amounts to a sort of minstrel show. You know, this kind of, mm-hmm, like black girl attitude that I found to be a little bit out of date. I mean, we had that stuff in the 90s and it was a little bit cringe then. 2016. I mean, she's a she's a black woman in a Hollywood blockbuster. Does she really still need to play that same stereotypical black character? Couldn't she have been a bit more well-rounded, or couldn't she have just been normal, you know, and just happen to have black skin? That's what that review said. You don't know that because you didn't fucking read it. <laughs> but what I said, what I, what I later went on to do, what I, what I later went on to do. Darling, you have to listen to the answers. You have to listen to the answers. 
What I later went on to do when I tweeted the review was make some jokes at her expense because she isn't a particularly attractive woman. I'm entitled to say so. She's a celebrity. I said it was nice they put a hot black dude in the movie. Um, I also... <laughs> The joke, of course, being really at my own expense, talking about my sex life. I also um, said that she was playing the victim, which of course she was. There's a reason that Leslie Jones went out complaining about her, um, the mean words she, had, she was getting on the internet, because the movie was tanking. Do you believe for a second that a prominent Hollywood actress sits at home crying on their iPhone, surrounded by guilt and marble and millions of dollars because somebody said mean things on the internet? I don't believe that any more than you do. But she was deployed to complain about bad words on the internet. Now, it is true that following the publication of my article, some people, a small contingent on the internet, said things to her which I found utterly disgusting. And I have told every interviewer who ever cared to ask, which is not many of them because they're not interested in the truth, they're interested in identifying racists and ejecting them from polite society. I've told every, you have to listen, sweetheart. You, I'm actually indulging you, I am indulging you I am indulging you with a far more detailed answer than you deserve. So you should listen. Now, most people aren't interested in what actually happens, and Twitter had been trying to get rid of me for a very long time. Now, in America, identity politics, which has sort of superseded reason, logic, and the truth as the guiding principle behind public life, Takes, uh, takes root not just in the media, but also in, in, in social media companies in, in Silicon Valley. They hated Trump with a vengeance. They hated Trump even more than the media did. And Twitter took the opportunity to get rid of me, uh, claiming that I was inciting uh, targeted harassment of somebody. This is a charge I deny. This is a charge I refute utterly. I am not responsible for what hundreds of thousands of people on the internet tweet. I am responsible for what I tweet. Would the same people who claim that I was responsible for inciting harassment of Leslie Jones, as though she gives a shit what I or some random avatars on Twitter have to say about her, would the people complaining about that hold Justin Bieber accountable for the death threats sent to Selena Gomez? Would these people hold Beyonce responsible for the death threats that her fans sent to Taylor Swift? Would these people hold any other person in public life responsible for the actions of their fans? Or is it more likely that there's a double standard at play when it comes to libertarians and conservatives that means that no matter what you do or what you say or how... Could it be that there is in fact a double standard at play and that they will... They will on the basis of no evidence whatsoever, and nobody could ever produce anything, ever, in the history of my journalistic career, and let me tell you they tried, could never produce a statement that could plausibly be described as racist. And most of the reports didn't even include the tweets that got me banned, the jokes at her expense, call it, because they were so funny that the journalists realized it undermined their case. So. I'm, un I'm not able to hear you because you're, you're yelling again, but... So that's, that's the answer to the first... That oh, dear. Are you joking? I don't think I'm a victim. It's the best thing that ever fucking happened to me. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't take my Twitter account back if they begged me. Are you kidding? never been so grateful to be censored. Not that I like it when they do it to other people, because I can take it. Well, I'm sorry for being popular. <laughs> I can take it as, you know what, well, never mind. Um, <laughs> But many private citizens can't. And the reason I made a fuss about it wasn't for my own sake. I don't give a shit. I am 10 times better known than I was before I lost that Twitter account. They did me an enormous professional, fa uh, professional favor in banning me from Twitter. The reason I care about it is not for me or for Azalea Banks, um, who, who I love, who, was, uh, who said appalling things about people for years, but was only banned two weeks after she, guess what, endorsed Trump. I, not for Charles Johnson's sake, who was also banned um, for no good reason. Chuck Johnson, the founder of, of, of Got News, um, now he tweeted that um, 
that he was raising money to take out DeRay Mackerson, who we're going to get to in a minute, one of the Black Lives Matter leaders. Um, and it was very clear, totally clear, this guy's a journalist, and take out meant publish a piece of journalism that would damage his reputation. Nobody, absolutely nobody, with more than two brain cells to rub together could possibly ever have believed that a five foot ten ginger bespectacled journalist was raising money to assassinate a Black Lives Matter leader. Nobody believes that. Absolutely no one. But they claimed that it was some sort of death threat. What's going on here? Double standards and inconsistent enforcement of rules if you have the wrong politics. And every conservative and every libertarian will come across this on social media. And I cared about the Leslie Jones case, not for my own sake, because I knew the moment it happened, it would be a huge career boon for me. I'd have things to talk about in the media for months, you know? Well, I was running out of stuff to talk about for a while. No, I wasn't, but you know. But rather, because this happens on a daily basis to people like you, and nobody is going to write columns about it when it happens. All you will discover is that you lose your Twitter account. You lose your voice. You lose your ability to express yourself. You lose your ability to, uh, to express perfectly respectable, reasonable, mainstream opinions that should be inoffensive to the majority of America. And you lose your ability to share your points of view with others because you have the wrong politics. And it's going to happen to you. It's going to happen to all of you. It's already happening on Twitter. I mean, there's now a concerted campaign on Twitter to get Donald Trump banned. You know, and uh, the media is kind of complicit with this. And Twitter has a long history of rolling over when it gets too much bad press from the left. It might happen. The network will go. But will, the, the Twitter will be will die even faster if they do it. Imagine it banning the president. But it might happen. And this tells you something about the stupidity and, and lunacy of Twitter and, and why why that happened. Um, let's move on, shall we? Uh, 